Hey there. I wanted to put out a quick video on some new updates, small updates that TickTick just put out for the Android app. So these are only on the Android app. I don't believe um, they're on the iOS app at all. And these updates are unrelated to any of the desktop apps. Um, but they put out two small updates. One is related to your TickTick -tick notifications on your Android app. And the second one is related to font size. Hello, I'm Joshua Best. All right, so I'm pulling out my Android device here and let me pull up my TickTick -tick app. And the first update is in the settings. So to get there, I'm gonna click the hamburger menu in the upper left corner. Then over towards the right is the settings button. Next, I'm gonna to go to sounds and notifications. And then the second option, which is notification and status bar. All right, so here's the first update. TickTick -tick is giving us the option to customize our notifications that we get. So it looks like up at the top, they're giving us a picture of how our notification will look if we use the current settings. But let's go ahead and try to change some of these settings. Let's look at the first one, notification details. So our options are show, hide, or shown when unlocked. So let's switch this over to hide and see what it might look like. So there it's gonna hide any of the details and it's just gonna tell us you have received one new notification. And you'll also notice that it takes away the button options. So we used to have buttons on our notification that said complete and snooze, but those are no longer available if we choose to hide the details. So let's go back and show the notification details. All right, so the next option is reminder stick on status bar. And the fine print says, when enabled, the notification will be resident in the status bar when alerted until an action is taken on the notification. So to be honest, I really don't know what that means, but uh, let's leave it on. I think this was originally off uh, before I came in here and started looking at this when I saw that TickTick -tick made the updates, but let's leave it on and see if we can't figure out what this actually means. And then down at the bottom is the coolest part of the update where we can actually choose what button one and button two are. And by default, they are complete and snooze. So let's jump in here and see what our options are for button one. So we can choose none. Uh, we can change it to snooze. Snooze for 15 minutes, snooze for an hour, snooze for three hours, or snooze till tomorrow. So to be honest, um, this, these options are a little bit disappointing. Uh, I was hoping for some more options and more specifically, I would like a postpone option. So, you know, if you receive a notification and your task is due, can I just postpone it until tomorrow? Or can I postpone it till next week? Um, or even can I change the priority or anything like that? But our only options here are complete and snooze really. And we can choose the amount of time that we snooze. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose none for button one. All right, and up at the top, we can see how it's gonna look. And one thing you'll notice is even though I've chose for button one to be none, it actually took away button two. And button two is now in the button one spot. And so button one is actually snooze, <laughs> which is a little bit confusing. So let's go ahead and go back into button one and let's change it to snooze tomorrow. And let's change button two to snooze one hour. All right, now let's see if we can't get tick tick to show us a notification so we can see how this will look. So I'm gonna back up here, back to my inbox and I'm just going to click on a task, make it due today. Uh, let me choose a time. So let me choose 944. And I want the reminder on the time, so I'm gonna click OK. And now let's wait for that to show up. All right, so it showed up. I can see up at the top, I've got my two buttons, snooze tomorrow, snooze one hour. And if I click this arrow, this just shows me more details of my task. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and swipe, swipe this away. 
and you'll notice that it stays there. All right, so I think that's what that status stick on reminder bar does. I'm gonna get out of Tick Tick entirely and see what it looks like. And now I'm gonna try and swipe away the notification again. And it just keeps coming back. So that's the idea behind that one is it's just going to stay on your screen until you choose one of the buttons. So let me go ahead and choose snooze for one hour. And now the notification goes away. So I don't know if you'd find that useful. I'd find that very annoying and I'm gonna go shut that off immediately as soon as I'm done with this video. Um, but that's the new updates for the customization you can do for notifications. So the other update, if I jump back into Tick Tick, and I'm gonna go back to settings. So hamburger menu, settings on the right, and this one is under appearance. And I'm gonna scroll my menu at the top to display. And my font size right now is default, but if I click on that, I now have the option to increase my font size. And I have a slider at the bottom, so right now I'm on default, but if I drag this, I can go to medium, large, extra large. So if you're having trouble seeing your task descriptions, uh, you might try and increase your font size just a little bit. And you now have the ability to do that. Now, to be honest, I thought we already had the ability to change the font size on Android. And I could be mistaken, and maybe they've just changed you know, how it works. Maybe the slider down here at the bottom is new. Uh, if you remember how it used to work, uh, let me know in the comments. But otherwise, those are the two new updates that TickTick has put out for the Android device. And that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.